I look red in this lighting. Hi guys! So I am almost ready to say goodbye to my American beauty routine, which I think I have to say goodbye to it. It's not, it's not working for me anymore. It used to work. It really did. I had very clear skin, but recently this week it's just breaking out everywhere. The last like three weeks actually. So I got another package today. Well, I got one yesterday. I actually cheated. I took my videos of my before pictures with me wearing this already. And what this is, is an eye cream that has snail secretion in it. And it's supposed to tighten your under eyes, which is good for me because I have like a little line. And that little line isn't horrible, except for when I'm wearing like a foundation or something. And there's just like a line and I'm like, great, here we are. <laughs> So that's supposed to help with that. I didn't obviously notice any difference using it once, so that's why I figured it wasn't a big deal. That's when I took my before pictures. But that's what I got yesterday, so. Let's see if we got my cleanser today. I didn't check, I just opened it because it's gonna be loud. This is not my cleanser. <laughs> oh my god. My my face serum and my cleanser still isn't here. It was delivered like yesterday. It was supposed to be delivered on Monday actually. Oh my god. This is my toner, which I'm happy about, but it says that it's here at the building, so I guess I I'm not registered in our school yet. <laughs> because it registered me in this building too late. So I feel really bad. I think I'm gonna buy these, I think I'm gonna buy the male people like donuts later this week because they're dealing with a lot for me because I'm not registered so they're not able to scan and keep track of my packages. So I'm gonna go down and I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask them if um, they got my package because it said it was delivered on September 5th. And what's today? If the 5th was the Monday, I don't think they'll have it. Yeah, no, the 5th was yesterday, so I'm trying to not make this, like, too loud. All right, so this is what I got in the mail today. It's Burt's Bees Tomato Toner. I'm, it's supposed to be for oily and troubled skin, which my skin isn't really oily. Like, that's not the problem, but sometimes it does get oily. I don't know how to describe it, so I figured this would be, like, a good, it's supposed to moisturize and... Ugh, get rid of redness and a little bit of oil so I think it will be good I just heard it smells like I read that after I bought it though so I'm a little nervous like I figured it would smell like gardens but people some people were like it doesn't smell bad and other people were like it really reeks so I'm nervous oh it definitely it definitely smells like if you took a tomato plant and you just smelled the plant it doesn't smell like tomatoes it smells really good. I don't know what they're talking about. This is great. I'm like scared I'm gonna spill it everywhere. I like it. I wanna drink it. I should not do that. I'm gonna head back downstairs and bother these people again and probably bring them one of my snacks that I have cause I feel bad. <laughs> Super good news. I went back down and I let them know that um, something was delivered for me yesterday and I was <laughs> I apologized for being such a pain and I was like don't worry I don't have anything else delivered for like the next while I didn't order anything else so I'll just wait until I'm entered in the system before I get anything and they were like okay good thank you <laughs> so what I got was the face shop rice water cleansing set this is an oil based cleanser and this is a water based cleanser so that's really good because I have a hard time getting my um, makeup off without certain things. It's just I really have to rub my eyes hard, which isn't good for them, which is why they're really baggy right now. It just it creates a whole problem and mess, and it just dries out my skin a lot when I have to get makeup off. So I got that. And then I got Witch Piggy Hell Pore Control, and this is a serum. I heard great things about this, like I heard that it really, um, ugh. I heard that it 
really tightens up your pores and just your whole face. Let's see how this is. It's super cute. Look at the little, oh, it's really bright. Look at the little piggy on it. That's me. That's me, a little pink piggy stirring a cauldron. That's actually who I am. I just, lo I really love the packaging of this. It's just freaking adorable. Oh, it comes in a little dropper. It's, it's really shadowed again, but it's so cute. This is 97% hydraulic acid and it has a lot of other stuff in it. Don't worry, I read all of the ingredients before I purchased these things. But on the actual bottle, it's not in English, you have to like read them online, so. This is really, really cute. Oh, comes in a little dropper. I'm shaking right now, sorry, that's just... It's because I just took all of my allergy medicine and inhalers and stuff, so I'm like... I have to eat something, that's my problem. I'm gonna eat and then I'm gonna finish filming this video. How does that sound, everyone? <laughs> Hello! I'm back and shaking significantly less. Still a little bit, but not as nearly bad as what I was. Whoa, that's not English. because all of my makeup is off. Like it's all off, I never had that before. It's wild. with the Korean beauty skincare routine is over and if we look at my face I definitely have a lot less bumpiness and my pores are not as visible as before however my skin has just been looking not healthy at all the last few months and it's just progressively getting worse my skin does feel healthier with the Korean skincare routine so I'm definitely gonna keep doing it but you can see I've been getting super deep pimples and I haven't been popping them and they've just been blistering over and I've never had scars on my face but you can see the red spots from the pimples that I did have and I haven't really been touching my face I mean I am right now but that's because I'm showing you and I just never really had this problem before and I've just have been having a lot of problems that I haven't had for a really long time. Like, yesterday I had a huge migraine flare-up to the point that I laid down in the booth. I was out till breakfast with my mom. I laid down in the booth and I just grabbed my head and I'm like, I can't get up. I'm going to throw up. I My head hurts more than it ever has before. 
and I ended up going to the hospital for it. Yay! So I'm feeling really out of it today, but um, yeah, nothing's really been working for me, and my only other mainstream option right now is birth control, and I'm not... I think it's really great, but not for me, just because of the health benefit or the health risks that come along with it are things that are really common and run in my family even without birth control, like heart disease, cancer, blood clots. So I really don't want to take that, especially since I don't, I'm not worried about getting pregnant right now. <laughs> I actually scheduled an appointment for a holistic doctor downtown and she has fantastic, fantastic reviews online, especially for people who have severe migraines and skin problems and I also have a really irregular period which has been getting worse, like I said, along with my other problems. So I'm gonna see what she has to say there. She does hormone balancing there. so. We're thinking about talking about that. So I'm going in for a consultation. She's really nice and she has, um, she has student pricing for me, which is fantastic because I'm in college and I'm not making a ton of money. If I end up really liking her, I'll let you guys know her um, website and stuff because I think it's really, it's a good option if you're, if birth control isn't right for you. So we'll see how this goes. <laughs>